Super Dragon Ball Heroes has now officially revealed its universe mission opening as right now on this video we are going to be diving into the brand new Super Dragon Ball Heroes trailer to further dissect, break down, and analyze the events of this said trailer to see what exactly is going to be transpiring in Super Dragon Ball Heroes involving some of your favorite characters including something that we're bound to see in the conclusion of Dragon Ball Super's Tournament of Power so without wasting any more time let us go on ahead and dissect this trailer beginning with the opening act now as you guys can see we have beat and the rest of the gang inserting their cards and the first person we see is future trunks on screen now i miss future trunks i wish that we had you know more screen time of him involving him in the universe survival arc and the tournament of power but nonetheless we get to see how trunks is on screen and it looks like he's requiring the kids to help him out during his time of crisis. So nothing major seems to happen in the opening act as we get to see how Beat and the rest of the gang lay their cards down to play. And what I find most interesting in the beginning is the following. So as we are engulfed in the blinding white light, the first thing we get to notice is Jiren. Now, a lot of you guys may be wondering as to what Dragon Ball Heroes has to do with Dragon Ball Super and vice versa. Well, Dragon Ball Heroes has a tendency on ruining a lot of things for Dragon Ball Super and revealing certain opening acts or whatever. So the first thing we get to notice here is how Jiren looks to be battle damaged. Uh, he also looks to be looking out in the distance and spotting someone. And of course, then we get to see Jiren go full power. Now, I cannot wait for this because even though in the anime, we haven't really seen Jiren go full power yet. Assumingly so, he goes full power in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, and the person that he's fighting against is none other than your boy. Now, Goku in this state, we see him in base form, and then all of a sudden he begins to power up, and wabam, we get to see how Goku transforms into true Ultra Instinct. Now, the aura, the lighting around him, the silver hair, it looks absolutely spectacular, so you guys can expect to see this happen in the anime portrayal. The only thing that's missing is we don't really know as to where Frieza is. However, Goku does the exact same thing. He powers up. So what I really love about this is the fact that we see how Jiren, you know, in this state, he begins to power up, going full power. Goku transforms. He goes full power. And then by the end, we get to also pan out as we see Beat, and he's overlooking the tournament arena. So we get to see how half the tournament's gone. The only members remaining are Jiren and Goku, but I do want to point out one very small thing. Now, it could just be me, but over out in the distance on your upper left-hand corner, I think I see Frieza laying on the ground. It could be a rock. I'm just, I'm just making the assumption that Frieza is laid out somewhere on this screen here, but nonetheless, we get to see how Goku and Jiren power up to their full power, and then here, this is what we're all waiting for to see, is to see how the end result is going to be of Goku clashing against Jiren in this battle. So, Goku looks spectacular, as you guys can already tell. Um, what I want to know from you guys is what are your overall thoughts as to how he looks? Do you guys prefer the silver hair? Do you guys prefer the black hair? Let me know in the comments because that's very important because believe it or not, some people aren't really too fond of seeing Goku with silver hair and the transformation is not called Super Saiyan White. It's not called Super Saiyan Silver. It's true Ultra Instinct, perfected Ultra Instinct, mastered Ultra Instinct. That's the name of the form. So Goku's fighting Jiren and what's most interesting, I think, is that I don't really I don't really suspect or I, I don't really think that Jiren is gonna be able to hold his own against Master UI Goku. That's just me, of course. And over around the distance, we see how Beat also transforms into a Super Saiyan Blue again. Beat has no relevance or correlation to Dragon Ball Super. So in case you guys are wondering, oh my god, a third Super Saiyan Blue, that's not gonna be the case at all. So as we go forward in the trailer, I mean these two seem to slug it out all over the place, but they're not the only ones that slug it out. So over here, you might notice something very interesting going on between Goku and Goku. It's Super Saiyan Blue Goku versus Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now, the thing about this is a lot of people have been confusing this and saying, oh my god, does this mean that Super Saiyan 4 is relevant to Super Saiyan Blue? No, we're looking at two very different versions of Goku. We're looking at two variations of Xeno Goku. So this, of course, I mean, in Dragon Ball Heroes, every character is upscaled, but we get to see how for the first time, and I really do enjoy this because 
this has been a long you know rooted debate all the way back stemming back ever since 2015 how people assumed that super saiyan 4 and super saiyan blue were equals here they might be equals but in the actual canon they are not but the, how cool is this goku throwing down with goku comment down below who's stronger super saiyan blue or super saiyan 4 because i'm gonna have to go with super saiyan blue if you guys feel as if it's super saiyan 4 let me know because i'm pretty sure my uh my boy ss4 the ss4 guy might believe that super saiyan 4 is still superior so as we get to see here uh i what, what i really enjoy about this is look at the artwork look at the animation hopefully enough in the future we'll get like a new series involving uh said characters or perhaps doing a giant what if because what super dragon ball heroes is is a giant what if so again very awesome shot of super saiyan 4 and super saiyan blue you can tell based on design how superior super saiyan 4 is in terms of design compared to goku but nevertheless these two are slugging it out hopefully one day we get to see this in the form of canon but i really doubt that so goku goes in for the kill and so does super saiyan 4 goku let me know down below as to who looks more aggressive between super saiyan 4 and super saiyan blue so also a part of all of this which i really do enjoy is seeing the following so you guys are about to see the super dragon ball heroes opening and then over out over here somewhere in the middle now this is what i find super super amazing trunks is training with goku and vegeta on beerus's planet so what's awesome about this is this is a triple threat fight so as you can see goku swinging at vegeta vegeta swinging at goku goku swinging at trunks trunks swinging at goku trunks is swinging at vegeta everyone's just like look at this 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 is a triple threat fight uh, trunks is trying to kick his dad goku's trying to punch trunks so vegeta's trying to hit goku so this is what i find so awesome because this is what i wanted to see follow the events of the future trunks arc and if you guys believe that trunks sh should have ultimately stood let me know because i feel like that would have been more than fitting in seeing him stay now look at this Th this is like movie-esque quality here this is so awesome and hopefully enough we get to see trunks come back one day and we get to see something like this happen because how amazing would it be to see trunks train with his father but also train with goku at the exact same time and the thing is they're all training on beerus's planet and this is something that we've never seen before so that's what i find most interesting about this the fact that trunks is training with his father and of course you guys can look at the gi i want to show you guys the gi real fast so look at vegeta's gi now it looks just like the resurrection of F gi except it's not uh there's a bit of modifications on his on his gi which i find to be awesome same thing with goku as you guys can see here uh traditional goku outfit except with the giant you know capsule corp logo on, on his shirt so again very awesome stuff trunks is throwing down with goku um and what i find most interesting about this is the fact that what if trunks did train with goku and vegeta on this planet you know he would have been so powerful and i think that this goes to show the amount of you know doors they can open up with the dragon ball after dragon ball super is over they can easily try to tell a story involving said characters and now the here th this is what i really enjoy now even though dragon ball super is ending we can go as far as to say okay well if they were to make a new series imagine something like this planets that are locked now you might be wondering as to okay well how are these planets locked and who's behind it well in case you guys don't know we have our boy Fu, who is the son of Mira and Toa, who is behind all of this. So, what I really enjoy about Fu is the fact that we're going to see him in Dragon Ball's universe too. Uh, it looks like we're in the future timeline because Mai seems to be so concerned. Fu looks awesome. Um, I'm not digging the glasses. I, I really think that the glasses kind of take away from him. Um, but Fu is a really, really awesome looking character. Now, Trunks is in jail. Don't know what he did. I mean, just for, we, we can only assume that Trunks probably committed some crimes or maybe placed there in the act of time traveling but we see you know he has shackles on his legs on his on his arms and he seems to be pondering now here we have Fu using the dragon balls to make a wish now we don't really know as to what his motives are if he's a good guy a bad guy of course um in dragon ball online and stuff he was a bad guy but here we get to see him use the dragon balls now i don't really know who this is if anyone out there wants to point it out and tell me who in the hell is this I, I would say it more or less looks like a Super Saiyan 3 because that, that that's the first thing that that's the vibe that I'm getting uh, this looks like a Super Saiyan 3 esque character um, he looks like he has Super Saiyan 3 hair some people might say it's Raditz I don't think it's Raditz um, obviously the bang on his head and the hair around him uh, I don't really know what kind of suit he's wearing but it, it kind of looks like Broly in a way and then he begins to power up with this purple aura now in the closing acts of this trailer Super Saiyan Blue fights Super Saiyan 4 which I 
this is so cool because you can go back and make the argument and saying, well, what if Xeno Goku fought Xeno Goku? You know, like where would they rank? So uh, look at this, the art animation, the style behind it, it looks incredible. So if you guys are for Team Super Saiyan 4, let me know. If you guys are for Team Super Saiyan Blue, let me know. And the most interesting about this is we see Trunks with his jacket off. He can uh, he be transformed into a Super Saiyan. And the first person he fights is Fu. And again, going forward in the trailer, uh, it looks like we're gonna have ourselves a uh, a battle of swordsmen, which I really do enjoy because I love how Fu uses a sword. And Trunks also look at Trunks' sword. His sword looks different. I don't know if I'm smoking something, but <clears throat> you know, Trunks' sword looks relatively different. So I, I don't really know as to what kind of sword it is, but. It's, it's a very different sword as to what he used when he killed Zamasu. So, Fu looks amazing. I just don't dig the glasses. The glasses really do take away. Um, and, of course, he has white hair. Oh, my God. Ultra Instinct. Imagine that. So, all of a sudden, there's a blast that hits them both, and it's from Cooler. Now, again, I don't really know as to what the hell Cooler, you know, is doing here. I mean, I don't really know his purpose. Maybe Cooler has another transformation. Let's all pray for that. We're going to find out in the next, uh, you know, Universal Mission. But Cooler sends out a shot, and Trunks regroups with his boys, Goku and Vegeta. And just like how we saw in the anime, Trunks transforms into Super Saiyan Rage. Now, at first, when I saw this, I said to myself, holy crap, he's going to transform into Super Saiyan Blue. No, he transforms into Super Saiyan Rage, and right before the closing acts of this entire fight, we see how Fu smiles, and looking out in the distance, we see uh, planets covered in chains, Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks standing alongside Mai. So that is your Super Dragon Ball Heroes trailer breakdown, guys. Let me know down below as to how you guys feel about this, because there is so much that you can look at in this overall teaser trailer that would make your just jaw drop, because for as an example, with seeing Goku fight Jiren, I mean, this is already expected because we can expect these two to really slug it out and I can't wait to see them slug it out but by the end of the day I mean this I mean Super Dragon Ball Heroes always has a tendency to you know showcase certain things beforehand so expect to see this go down and it's nothing really surprising because we're all already expecting to see these guys fight at full power but let me know your thoughts down below on Super Saiyan, uh, you know, Goku transforming into, you know, Ultra Instinct and then seeing him fight Jiren. Then we have Super Saiyan Blue versus Super Saiyan 4. What are your overall thoughts on that? Training, Trunks training with Goku and Vegeta. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. Turn on all notifications if you guys enjoy the video. Slap a like down below. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody. Peace. <laughs>